Often in programming, you're going to need to do some basic math. Think of probably one of the most common computer programs you probably interact with. You've probably been to a grocery store or some other type of store, and you're working with a cash register. A cash register is basically a computer, and it's going to have to add up each item that you buy. If you buy three of them, it's going to have to multiply by three, and then at the end, it's going to have to multiply by the sales tax and give you a total. So there's often simple math required in programming. And in programming, we have several different symbols to represent our mathematic equations and what we're going to do. Now in what we're doing with programming, equals is an assignment operator. So if we have a variable, my total equals, we can have it equal to several variables added together. Line item 1 plus line item 2 and so forth. There's actually an easier way to do this if you're going to have a bunch of them, but you can actually add things together and equal will store the answer here. So if line item 1 equals 12 and line item 2 equals 5, what will happen is you'll actually add these together and then the total in my total will be 17 after the line of code is done running. So equals assigns a value to a variable. Addition is a simple plus sign. Subtraction is a minus sign. Multiplication is the asterisk, and division is the sideways, the slanting hash mark. So those are the symbols in programming for the math symbols that you're used to. One of the important things to remember, and this should be a review for you, is the order of operations when working with math. You're always going to work from left to right, multiplication left to right, multiplication and division before you get to addition and subtraction left to right. You can always use parentheses to make things clearer and to override because anything in parentheses is done first. And sometimes it can just make things easier to read and clearer when you use parentheses as well.